today we are going to give a spree workshop on stream api so as part of the stream api today what we cover uh, over overview of arrays and overview of collections and then why we will go for collections rather than arrays and then we'll introduce functional programming as well as structural programming and overview of a stream api why we'll go for stream api rather than collection api in this in stream api how to create the stream and how stream works uh, what are the types of uh, streams and then stream characteristics and then stream uh, types intermediate operations and terminal operators so these are the uh, as part of the intermediate operations map filter disconnect uh, distinct sorted limit skip are examples for intermediate operations we'll do one by one each each and every method with practical example and as part of the terminal operations we will cover uh, for each two array uh, reduce collect min max count any any match all match none match find first find any these are the terminal operators what we cover as part of today workshop and then we'll jump into short circuit operations what is the purpose of short circuit operations and then everything will will show you in practical once we are completed then i will cover one mini project which helps uh, us to attend the interviews and grab the uh, much knowledge on uh, java 8 features uh, this is our agenda uh, what we cover as part of today's stream api so here generally interviewer asked the question so first interview question is which java version you are using in the project so you you tell like java 8 or java 11 so then immediately next question tell me some java 8 features uh, function uh, so function interface lambda expression method reference stream api date api option classes these are the java 8 features so if you want function interface lambda expression method reference uh, date api and option class please subscribe our youtube channel so show that every every java feature available in the uh, srinu tech uh, youtube channel and if you want to get live notes or examples please subscribe our uh, telegram group so that you will get much updates on our classroom notes uh, that is our intro so now i will start rs so first of all what is array uh, once i will brief idea about five minutes then i will jump into collections yeah so here array is nothing but process of storing homogeneous data in continuous memory locations is called array is called as array so here data stored based on index so here in arrays index start from zero so here index start from zero so array will support homogeneous data and does not support heterogeneous heterogeneous data what is homogeneous data homogeneous nothing but similar type of data will be stored suppose you want to store only integer that is the homogeneous eighty-row nothing but mixed one integer one float one boolean but array support only homogeneous one more one more uh, one more advantage is here drawback is size is fixed in array means once we can mention size then we can't increase or decrease size at runtime based on requirement so this is not possible in the rs that is one drawback so what is the syntax to create rs so here data type square brackets why because here we will store uh, multiple values that's why we will use uh, square brackets and then variable name and then here new data type inside here you can mention size so this is the size suppose you will mention four so we can't increase or decrease the size at runtime that is the fixed in size in arrays 
so here in i want to store only integer values so here equal to new int of 4 so here 4 nothing but four values only will be stored as part of this variable so index start from zero like this so here e of zero equal to 10 and e of one equal to 20 and e of two equal to 30 and e of three equal to 40 like this we'll st this is the first approach and second approach is This is approach one. Approach two. Data type. Variable equal to curly braces pass the values like this. Value one, value two, and value three. So examples int i is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 these are the homogeneous data similar data only stored as part of the uh, array so index start from 0 here a of 0 10 a of 1 20 a of 3 is 30 this is overview about arrays now next question why we will go for why will go for collections so why because some drawbacks are there in the arrays in order to rectify the drawbacks we will go for arrays sorry we will go for collections first drawback is array will support primitives and does not support objects so in the real time you must and should should support objects in order to support objects then we will go for collections second one size is fixed means once you can mention the size we can't increase or decrease the size at runtime third one is third one is uh, suppose array will support support homogeneous data but in the real time there may be a requirement to grab the heterogeneous as well so here collections so these are the drawbacks as part of the arrays that's why in order to rectify the drawbacks we'll go for collections so here collections collections will support objects objects and size is global in nature so global in nature nothing no need to mention the size whenever we will add the data size get increases whenever we will remove the data size get decreases and so collections will support homogeneous as well as heterogeneous heterogeneous data both it will support that's why we'll will more recommended collections rather than the arrays yeah now i, I am not at all go deep uh, to collections today our agenda is stream api now just i will introduce uh, stream api later at the end you will understand why you'll go for stream api rather than the collection so basically stream api is you sorry is used to process the data in sequence manner and stream api does not store any data there is no source as part of the stream api stream api will capture data from source here source may be source may be arrays or collections so based on that based on that we will understand stream api will capture the data from either arrays or collections and process it that is our agenda okay again stream api is nothing but collection of 
stream ap is nothing but collection of intermediate operations and terminal operations combination of intermediate operations and terminal operators is nothing but stream api so here stream api we will convert any array or collections into stream format how to convert we'll see uh, in very soon and then next why why stream in, why stream comes into picture why stream api that is my big question already collections are there why stream api is there suppose my requirement is i want to remove our requirement is to remove duplicates from array list you know already array list will support duplicates as well without stream api how to do it so please observe guys list i will take string or integer anything is fine suppose i will take anything is fine string new array list so all the collections defined in util package first import the package lst dot add i am trying to add some data so yeah now as part of the list duplicates are there my question is my interview question is how to remove duplicates so in order to remove duplicates i will take uh, please observe i will take one more array so are you able to my are you able to see my screen right guys yeah so first i trade original array string s equal to lst yeah so now here i wrote condition like new array list dot in order to check whether element is available or not we will use contains method so here contains if that element if that element is not available as part of new list then only add that element to the new array list otherwise don't add it dot add and then remaining is you know already how to iterate the data that's it so observe here first iterate original array original array one by one if that element if not available in the new array list then only add that element to the new array list otherwise don't add it this logic should written by the developer to remove duplicates from the array list so run it yeah duplicates are removed but in order to remove the duplicates developer should write some code so same thing how to do it as part of uh, stream api now observe how many lines we got reduced so this is without stream api without stream api now i am going to use same example by using stream api uh, stream api so please observe guys if code get reduced our application performance is good so now observe first thing so remove entire this code first convert your list into stream to convert your list into stream we will use one method this stream is a method stream stream api defined in util package util package in order to convert your collections or arrays we will use stream method step one convert your list into stream we'll see don't worry first why we why streams required that's why i will answer this question once stream is available stream define one predefined method distinct now distinct function will remove all the duplicates once your duplicates are removed then we will iterate to the end user for each so here for each it will take lambda expression as input
and iterate one by one display to end user. Observe same code before Java it also will perform, but here code get reduced. So meaning is by using stream API, we will reduce our code as well as we will improve our application performance. That is big drawback. And one more thing before stream before stream API, if you want to implement any complex developer should write lot of code. So in order to reduce that complexity stream API come, to, come, come into picture. Now finally we will resolve complex complexity by using stream api so stream api will provide a lot of methods by using that methods we will easily resolve and we will reduce application code by using stream api suppose we will reduce application code then automate if suppose i have 10 lines of code one developer should suppose one developer design the solution with 10 lines another developer design the same solution with five lines so if code is less applicant performance is more so meaning if finally we will improve application performance by using stream api by reducing lines of code that's it so that this is the motor why stream api any questions up to this anyone can you please explain again stream api yeah so basically uh before stream api uh, collections are there collections will process the data right homogeneous as well as heterogeneous so in order to process the data we will write some complex method suppose i want to sort the data at least you can write 10 lines of code right before stream api suppose you want to same uh, same data you want to sort by using stream api stream api will provide one method okay based on that you can start so meaning is it will reduce stream api will reduce the code so here but stream api will not store any data any data just stream api will capture the data from either collections or arrays and then process it that is stream api okay now stream api will defined in java dot util dot stream one separate package is there so in that stream new so the stream api introduced from java 8 onwards before java 8 there is no stream api so stream api introduced from java 8 onwards before java 8 there is no stream api by using stream api we will reduce our application code and then improve up, improve application performance how to do it we'll see one by one so next question why stream api so stream api means before java before stream api in order to uh, remove the duplicates these lines of code developer should write so from stream api stream api will reduce that lines of code everything uh, stream api populate with uh, uh, predefined methods developer should use that methods and provide the solution to the end user that is agenda okay any questions now next one functional programming my question is what is functional programming ah, can anyone what is functional programming anyone uh, excuse me sir yes yes go ahead uh, I have one question like uh, how can the performance will be increased by using stream API? Yes, so here suppose your code is less what will happen if your code is less we will improve the application performance, right? Execu okay. Execution time will be increased. Yes, 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 yes. execution time execution time also will get re reduced and as part of stream api stream api divided into two types uh, sequence stream as well as parallel stream we, i will show you that example based on that you can conclude okay yes i don't worry uh, for each method i will i will show you uh, so one by one so many methods are there just understand why stream api that's why i will show you this example one by one example i will show you then you can understand okay don't worry up to this clear okay. guys yes sir so don't worry what is stream what is for each and what is a stream i will go one by one then you can understand just why stream is required for that purpose i will show the example again i will note down each and everything okay yeah so now what is functional programming the way of promoting promoting the programming with functions 
is called as functional programming so meaning is everything should be defined in the form of method so this functional programming introduced from java 8 onwards okay so this functional programming so this piece function what is meant by function what is function my question is what is function what is function so here developer like yeah developer provide some input to function yeah now function will capture input input and process that input finally finally return the value yeah some response response nothing but some output so here no need to write the code predefined method given by the stream api just will use it so that is the functional programming functional programming introduced from java 8 uh, java 8 onwards so here this is the uh, fundamental change in the uh, pro pro problem solving approach okay so by using functional programming we will reduce the code and improve the application performance so here please observe here functional programming is an fundamental approach in problem problem solving so here by using functional programming we will reduce code by using functional programming so from java 8 onwards how to achieve functional programming we will achieve functional programming by using ha huh, lambda expression functional interface ah huh, lambda expressions Predefined functional interface. Yeah, method references. These three, by using these three, we can achieve functional programming. Functional programming is nothing but expose everything as function format. So developer should provide the input to the function. Function will capture the input and process it and give some response. Instead of writing the code manually by the developer, stream API come came into some predefined methods to resolve our complex programs that is functional programming so my question is previously we have structural programming structural programming what is the difference between structural versus functional programming so some differences are there so i will highlight high level so i will not go very deep so observe here functional programming will follow top down top down approach means main execution start from main method and line by line start execution whereas functional programming functional programming follow bottom up approach bottom up approach that's the second one functional programming will focus on will mainly focus on process whereas functional programming mainly focus on data how to process the data that is the main agenda for functional programming will focus on data and structural programming it will it, it will not at all easy to solve complex programmings and security wise also functional programming provides more secure rather than structural programming structural programming so these are the differences uh, so now any questions up to this any questions sir how can any you questions? ensure that like uh, there is a security by using functional programming yes yes i will i will delegate at the end okay don't worry okay hello so bottom up approach means bottom nothing but so based on the method based on the method only it will got executed corresponding i will show you one by one how to execute one by one okay just to try to understand this difference don't worry uh, later you will understand completely what is functional programming what is, what is stream api like this okay any questions now stream api how to create stream api so finally stream api purpose is to achieve functional programming 
is used to achieve fun oh sorry functional programming now here stream api is combination of uh, intermediate operations as well as terminal operations what is intermediate operation what is terminal operators we'll, we'll see later don't worry so now stream api will not modify the data will not modify the data why because huh why because stream api will not store any data so simply stream api will capture data from source here source may be ha huh, arrays or collections that's it okay so now next question generally streams or stream api is divided into two types sequential stream api parallel stream api parallel stream api these two are the stream api types i will show you how to improve our application performance by using stream api at the end with a practical example so now finally next how to create the stream please observe here stream creation first one you have predefined class by using that class we will create stream stream is a predefined method by using stream method we will capture the data from arrays and then create the stream this is one way second way you know collections objects list set map by using collection object dot stream stream is a predefined method which is used to capture the data from either arrays or collections and create the stream object and one more stream dot empty empty by using this one also will create the stream object one more stream dot off by using this one also will capture the stream object but these are very these first two is very important so we'll see one by one our topic our stream api derived into three parts a uh, practical session please observe here stream api divided into three parts first war first part how to convert arrays to stream and then perform how and then how to perform the operations i will show you one by one example with the practical second one either list or set how to convert uh option class not covered karthik uh definitely we will come with the next workshop this is purely related to stream api yeah how to convert your list or set into stream api and then how to perform the operations i will show you each and every example similarly map as well how to convert into stream and then how to perform the operations and finally i will show you one mini project this is our agenda so can i go practical one by one yes so can we perform stream stream on uh, set and uh, queue yeah here set also there right yes queue queue also queue also will sure. perform, will convert you will convert into stream by using stream method Thank okay you. yeah we'll convert one by one now our agenda is how to convert arrays you know already arrays right arrays to stream api how to apply the operations on this one yeah any questions up to this no right now first question array length general how to find out array length array length ar dot length length right ar dot length so same thing how to perform by using stream api observe here hello sir yeah sir can we use stream api for stack yes definitely okay thank you sir yeah but no one use uh, stack and queue nowadays right uh yeah definitely we will in for any collection object will convert into stream object by using stream method yeah now here uh a is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 
now before java 8 before java 8 sorry before java 8 or stream api how to find out array length huh we have one predefined met met ah uh, predefined method or property property right by using length property yeah we'll find out the yeah length from java 8 onwards java 8 onwards stream api came into picture so step one first step convert convert array to array into stream yeah we have predefined class arrays dot stream yeah observe here dot stream which takes your array as input and con so this is the conversion of array into stream one stream object is available stream class contains so many methods first method is count count is used to find out number of elements available inside the array yeah any questions any questions so up to this array start stream is used to convert your array into stream object once a stream object is available we will perform a whatever operation you want yeah any question up to this any questions can i go already long count uh, is there right sir which sorry here no, long no, no. count uh, long wait 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 count is a variable of type long so your count method returns long type value this is the variable okay okay can i go next one this is count method right arise uh, we are yes. converting stream then after it will count Here count end okay. with the parenthesis right this is the method now yeah next one next one array iteration how to iterate array how to iterate array loop General iterating the huh. okay first i will show you index yeah index start for from where? zero for i, zero. I less zero. than a less three. than length uh, i plus mm, plus okay. right sys out yes. and then a of i this is the logic we wrote previously java 8 in order to iterate the array right any questions no 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 more questions. yeah now from java 8 onwards what is the first step convert your arrays into uh, stream and then we have one for each method is there for each method is equal to uh, for for loop iteration for each method will take for each method will take uh, consumer as input so this express this consumer is nothing but lambda expression taking as input so are you able to follow this one this one yes, this sir. is the lambda expression this is the lambda expression which take one by one object from the stream array iterate it and display to the end user so this is the lambda expression if you want to get strong in lambda expression please go through a uh, stream to take youtube channel then you can understand okay so this is iteration of array so two methods are covered so please observe i will cover one by one each method don't worry no need to worry about for each also there yeah. practical i will yeah, show you one by one okay? sorry we can use for each directly in array right yes 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 that is also there this is the this is the stream api how to perform uh, operations by using stream api okay can i go next one yes. array sorting array sort please Sorry. please mute is every method inside the stream api is a functional uh, takes functional interface no 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 so i will show you one by one i will show you okay some methods only I will, uh, it will take it so don't worry so i will show you one by one one by method i will explain 10 30 20 so generally how to sort this one can anyone how to sort this one i want to sort this array sorry how to sort it. there are no utility methods for arrays yeah, okay. so we RS have to dot, RS dot sort method is there right sort. this is the huh. so observe here int i equal to yeah good int i equal to zero i less than a dot length i plus plus now sys out 
a of i so this is the sorting mechanism which we are using before java 8 okay from java 8 onwards stream api came into picture step one huh, what is the first step rs dot huh, stream a uh, and then we have one predefined method sorted so please observe this is also a uh, uh, stream api method which does not take any argument okay once sorting is done then simple iterate in order to iterate java 8 provide uh, stream api provide one predefined method that is for each okay inside the for each it will take lambda, lambda expression as input that's it stream so in order to sort the data stream api provide one predefined method that is sorted yeah sorting is done any questions up to this any questions no sir yeah clear right everyone so up to this how many methods will cover for each sorted uh, count yeah the one by one i will cover don't worry now you know uh, rs will uh, allow duplicates as well right now how to remove duplicates from array yeah can anyone this is also by using stream ap observe here 10 20 30 duplicates are there or not there hmm? it's there yes yeah. in order to remove duplicates step one first step we will convert your array into stream object one stream object is available fair form one operation that is called distinct what is this distinct distinct it used to remove duplicates from stream object duplicates are there or not there in output not there yeah now clear right which method is used to remove the duplicates which method distinct method yeah any but questions up to this can i go next can i go one by one sir can you please show me the output once again okay okay no problem yeah uh, run it run a java application distinct method is used to remove the duplicates okay can okay, i go sir. next one can i go next one, one question, sir. yeah hello sir uh, after removing the duplicates uh, mm. if i want to perform uh, ascending order then how yes how yes, it... yes so after this you know right uh, yeah. sorted method is there huh okay yeah. by using sorted method we can perform the ascending order observe 10 20 30 clear yes sir what yeah what descending order yeah we will see uh, in order to perform the descending we will use comparator is there okay okay can i show now itself sir show the itself please 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 one by one i will i will show you okay so please i request all of you i will go one by one requirement yeah next requirement a descending order if you want here comparator is there what is this comparator comparator as part of the sorted method will pass reverse order okay now by using this we can perform reverse order okay so we'll see later how to do it don't worry yeah yes next question next question sir i have doubt yeah sir if you are doing as a customization of like employee or student id yes, name or string uh. at the time you have yes. to use distinct or some General, yes uh yes suppose, How to remove yeah. the duplicate. yes yes in a, in the in the application uh database RLS generally allow duplicates right while showing the dupe uh, while yeah. showing the data to end user first we will remove the duplicates in order to perform duplicates we must and should use distinct keyword i will show you don't worry okay one by one i will show you first yes, i will sure, show you examples you. later i will show you one by one okay now you know how to perform array sum can anyone array sum sir huh? sorry the error of uh, i plus a you, like that you can write some code right yes or no yes, yes into yes. sum equal to zero now i trade the array into i equal to zero 
i less than a dot length ha i plus plus inside it into some into some equal to some equal to plus plus some equal to a by a by yeah this is split sum yeah yeah so how many lines you wrote the code at least 3 to 4 lines right yes or no same yeah. thing how to do it by using stream api ha huh. can anyone so remove this one ah uh, first we'll convert rs dot stream okay after this we have one predefined method sum method yeah now observe so single line we can resolve that problem so if code reduce your application performance is more or less more more yeah so clear right this one clear or not clear Yeah. Array yes. average. Yeah, clear, sir. Next question. Array average. So I will go very slow for arrays. So, uh, why? Because each and every method you want to learn with practical. Then same methods how to use in uh, collections as well. I will show you. Then you, it is easy for you. Ah, uh, array average. What the array average here? What the array average? Ten plus thirty plus twenty. Sixty by three twenty, right? Yes. Thirty. Plus, total by oh. number of elements. Total by number of elements. Ah. Huh. Total by number. Twenty, sir. Average. Twenty, right? Same thing. How to perform? Yeah. Yeah. Please observe stream, and then here, ah. Huh. Average. We have predefined method is there. Average. So here, average method. E average method returns optional double. So here, how to do it? Dot option class contain one predefined method. Get it as double by using that method. So don't worry, don't concentrate on this. Your target is up to this average method. So this is related to option class. If you want to get very strong, please go through our uh, Srinu Tech video channel. Yeah, please observe twenty. Coming or not coming? Coming. Coming. Yeah, coming sir. So now you are good, right? How to do it? Now my question is: generally, min element, max element requirement is there, right? Min and max. Yes, yes, sir. No. Otherwise, yes, sir. Yeah, next yes, question: yes, display even yes, numbers. Sir. Yeah, from array. How to display even numbers from array? A of i mod two. Okay. First, we'll do it Part without. Yes, sir, uh, equal to equal zero. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. One minute, yar. Yeah. Yeah, pi ah. modulus equal to equal to zero, sir. One minute. I will show you existing code. So, can I do existing code or not required? Before Java, it can I note down or can I directly write uh, Java eight? Can directly write Java eight. Okay. Rs dot ha huh. stream. This is conversion of your array object into stream. After conversion, we have one predefined okay. method filter. What is this? Filter generally as part of the filter, we will we will verify the condition. Which condition? Ha. Huh. Here also we'll write the lambda expression. Ha. Huh. Generally, how to check whether number is even or odd? How to check? Any yes, number divisible by zero, zero that is the even number, right? Yes. Yeah. Once even numbers available, this is the Uh, lambda expression evaluate your stream object and gives uh, gives your stream object one stream object is available i iterate one by one yeah now observe what the what the output what the output 10 and 12 Yeah, well, clear. So filter is a uh, is a stream API method which takes your uh, predicate as input. This expression evaluate your data and give one stream which contain the even numbers. That stream is iterated by the for each method. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Up to this, clear, guys. 
what is the purpose of filter method yes yes definitely uh, any questions up to this any questions no sir no sir. sorry sir filter no, method yeah. takes predicate as the input yes. Yes, yes. Predicate nothing but that is the function interface. Function interface as input and verify each and every element uh, divisible by zero or not. So is predicate yeah. same as la lambda expression? Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. So uh, go through our Srinutech uh, video uh, YouTube channel. There clearly lambda expression method reference are there. Uh, you will go. You will subscribe that video channel and learn on that one. Okay. Yeah. Can I go next one? Yes, sir. Minimum element from array. Huh. Generally, how what is the minimum element in this? What is the minimum Ten. element? 10, right? Same thing, how to do it by using stream API. So final finally, you understand by using collections, you can write a lot of code. By using stream API, we will reduce the code. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yeah. So first step, convert your are array into stream object and then we have one predefined method ha huh. min min is there by using get min we will get the minimum minimum element so here this is the integer data final car get into method it returns minimum element okay any questions min method is used to get minimum element from the stream ha huh. next one i want to get maximum element Huh. I want to get maximum element. Max method. Yeah, max method. Yeah. Next one. Sir, here get as int in the, in the place of get as int, we can also use collect, right? Yes, yes. I will show you. Don't worry. I will show you later. Okay. Yeah, collect also you can use it. Huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now array. Uh, in order to find out the maximum element, one predefined method is there. Uh, what is the method name? Max. Uh, max. Yes, tell me. Sir, if you want to do that, uh, now Sorry. using lambda expression for min max. Yes, we'll do lambda it. Lambda we'll expression for min max. Yes. Yes, we will do you it. Directly, you have to take a previous method. Get as in. Sorry. Here. Your voice. Your voice. Please, your voice is breaking. Sir, here, here we are taking directly get as in as a predefined method. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you are taking any lambda expressions. Uh... Yes. Yes, yes, we'll do it by using lambda expressions as well. Suppose I will take lambda expressions now itself. Somebody, someone know, don't know about lambda expressions, right? This is purely related to stream API. If you want, I will discuss in next session also. Okay. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. Now I will go for uh, some more methods. Suppose find first, find last. Some methods are there. I will discuss one by one. Uh, don't worry. Uh, that are the methods. Find first, find last. So finally. These are the samples how to con this is the sample examples how to convert your array to stream. Okay. Now stream API is divided into two types sequential parallel. Yeah, sequential stream and parallel stream. So first one by default by default whenever we'll create the stream sequence stream only it will sequence nothing but one by one one by one get executed so how to create the uh, sequential stream so by using observe here collection arrays dot stream method or collections object dot stream method we will create uh, sequential stream. Your question, I don't know how to check whether the stream is uh, sequential stream or not. Now observe here that the next thing in order to check whether the stream is sequential or not, 
we will use one more method is parallel what it is what is the method parallel is parallel yeah returns boolean value suppose it returns true means stream is sequential sorry false false yeah suppose it returns true ah huh. stream is stream is parallel parallel i will show you practical now observe rs dot stream now this stream is sequential stream or parallel stream whenever we will use stream method that is by default stream method only how to check please observe in order to check whether the stream is a uh, sequential stream or parallel stream we will use one method is parallel suppose is parallel returns false that is sequential stream Now clear returns false means sequential any questions hello any questions no, sir. No, sir. yeah now next one parallel stream what is the use of it sir yes sequential stream nothing but suppose 10 elements are there one by one element get processed right that is the sequential okay. stream parallel stream nothing but the stream is divided into sub parts each part is executed parallelly to improve the performance but in order to create the parallel stream we will use a parallel stream method now observe here now this is which stream this one this one which stream huh here there is no stream sequential stream or sequential right sequential suppose stream. i want to create parallel stream we have one method is there parallel stream one minute otherwise first convert this one and then parallel stream so here observe parallel what is this parallel. Parallel. parallel so by using this by using parallel parallel or parallel stream parallel is meant for arrays parallel stream is meant for collections now observe suppose is parallel returns true then that is parallel stream or sequential stream parallel stream parallel stream so what is the, what is the advantage for parallel stream your stream your entire stream into divide into sub sub parts each part is processed frequently or parallelly okay in order to improve the performance now clear what is sequential stream what is parallel stream clear or not clear no sir, sir. both are uh, which sorry. one is most used in real time sir uh, generally we will use uh, stream only most probably we are using stream only that is uh, that is also based on the uh, requirement only yeah any questions uh, sir uh, in above example 10 11 12 13 is a sequential stream right yes and, yes uh, whenever whenever we will stream method it will process one by one 10 after that 11 after that 12 after that 13 whenever we will use parallel this is entire stream is divided into sub streams sub streams okay, okay. and okay, process parallelly okay any questions yes, now sir. we will sir. yeah yeah yes yes so in which case we use parallel stream yes suppose you want to process thousand records thousand otherwise lakhs of records uh, suppose we will use stream api is it possible to process within time is it possible to process suppose i want to delete uh, duplicates null values and then display three three if you want to fair one by one first i will remove the duplicates and then remove nulls and then process it these three uh, one by one suppose will process lakhs of records records it will take time right same three are uh, removing the duplicates and removing null values and process it three will be done in single shot then applicant performance get increases right yes, yes. or no Yes, now yes intermediate operations so stream ap is combination of intermediate operations and then uh, terminal operations and terminal opera. what is intermediate operations uh, can anyone what is intermediate operations sir, General, sir one doubt in parallel stream. hello yeah 
Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So can you show the can you show one example by performing two operations at a time in the, by using a parallel method? Y yes, parallel yes I will show you. I will show you in the list or set is there, right? I will show you. Already will uh, already will discuss filter, sorted. We will use in single yes. shot by using parallel as well. Okay. 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 Yeah. Can I go uh, intermediate operations? So here intermediate operations will produce ha huh, stream will produce stream. Okay, as it produce stream now. Intermediate operations. What are the uh, comes on intermediate operations? Huh, can anyone? No idea. No. No. Filter. Filter. Misplaced. Filter. No. Map. Sorted. Sorted. Please, please mute. Distinct. Ah. Huh. Limit. And skip. For examples for intermediate operations. Generally, whenever we will perform any stream operation, any intermediate operation, always it generate new stream only. So that stream, by using that stream, we will process it based on your requirement. So these are the methods in order to perform the intermediate operations. I will show you again for a list and collections again. Yeah. Next one, terminal operations. So here terminal operators intermediate operations uh, intermediate operations what will perform intermediate operations will produce one stream right yes or no after after using sorted method after using uh, yes, map yes. method after using filter method it will generate one stream the stream given as input to terminal operations the stream given as input to the terminal operation so finally terminal please please will produce final result will produce final result so these are the terminal operators what are the examples so for each method please mute for each method uh, count min max huh. to array non match comes under comes under uh, terminal operators yeah any questions up to this so at least we have basic idea right what is intermediate operation what is terminal operators so clear or not clear sir <coughs> sir please yeah. yes sir can i ask question sir yes guys please mute uh, remaining guys get disturbed please i request all of you please mute if any questions then only uh, unmute and then ask the questions otherwise don't uh, unmute yeah sir can i ask yeah. question yes okay uh, in in, uh, in a program or a sequence of uh, we get we get uh, uh, um, several intermediate operations but just one terminal operation Yes, yes, yes. We have number. Yes, in a uh, in a stream API, we will use any number of intermediate operations, but we'll use only one terminal operation. Yes, I will show you practical example on that one. Any questions up to this? Any Sir, questions? will uh, every intermediate operation like uh, map filter will create new stream? Yes, yes new stream mandatory new stream it will create new stream suppose you will take filter uh, filter nothing but as part of the filter will take the condition right based on the condition it will get the corresponding stream with that elements uh, that is the new stream 
in collections for each a method for each is a method which does not take any uh, predicate at input here stream api onwards for each will take uh, consumer predicate or by predicate will take as input and uh, process one by one that is the major different that, that is the terminal operator to produce the result okay before java 8 for each method also there that does not take any uh, predicate as input yeah okay okay so as part of the collections now i am going to convert your collections into stream and then apply operations that is our agenda so here collections uh, what are the interfaces are available for collections uh, list set map are the implementations right who will provide the implementation for list Array array list, 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 link list, vector uh, stack, vector stack. One more also there. Copy on, right? Array list. These are the implementer. Similarly, ha. Uh, for set, asset. asset linked has set linked has set reset reset ah uh, started set copy on array set sorry started set ha uh ha -huh. now map what are the implementation classes hash map hash map ah uh. linked hash map linked hash map tree map tree map ah uh. tree map hash table as table concurrent hash map properties yes. yeah concurrent hash map concurrent so these hash are the hash. interfaces and corresponding implementations now i am going to convert our collections collections into stream format so here i will give one or two lines collections will support uh, objects not primitives right Yes or no? Yes, Your sir. question, immediate yes. question. Yes, sir. Hey, Suman. Hey, Suman. Suppose my requirement is I want to pass primitives to the collection, but collections not support, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. You have you have handy with you primitives. In this case, pass this primitives to uh, wrapper classes. Finally, wrapper class deliver your primitives into objects, right? And then hand over that collection uh, objects to the collection. Now clear my requirement. Suppose you have primitives, but collections will not support primitives. One mediator is required. That mediator is wrapper classes. Wrapper classes will take your primitives as input and convert it into object. That object is given as input to the collection. Okay. So collection finally will support objects only. Now collections will support homogeneous as well as heterogeneous data homogeneous heterogeneous both it will support and no need to no need to mention size in collections whenever we will add the data size get increases whenever we will remove the data collections get decreases that's it now i am going to discuss stream api now i am going to convert your uh, collection to stream object any collection object dot stream S suppose you will use stream method it will create with uh, which stream sequential stream right yes yes sir no suppose you will use parallel stream it will create parallel stream parallel stream that's it most probably we are using this one only yeah can i go one by one so observe here intermit operations and i will apply uh, terminal operations one by oh sorry yeah first up pro one by one i will discuss my question is please observe here i will discuss question oriented only first i will discuss one by one method so what the purpose of intermit operations intermit operations are used to produce new stream new stream based on the condition 
okay we can apply any number of intermediate operations on a stream always intermediate stream will generate new stream that's it okay one by one i am going to apply first one is what filter right what the first one filter. what the first one filter first requirement is observe here Rem remove null values from array list first interview question how to remove null values from array list so now this is the string oh sorry yeah this is the object creation lst dot now see so generally array list will will allow uh, null values as well as duplicates right yes yeah first question first interview question how to remove duplicates read the question how to remove sorry how to remove null values in order to remove null values first step one convert your list into stream how to convert into stream please observe in order to get the sequential stream we will use stream method if you want to get parallel stream we will use parallel stream anything is fine okay stream stream is available next thing what is the requirement remove duplicates in order to remove null duplicates values. we will use yeah sorry null values we will use filter method here filter method one minute i will show you this diagram as well i already drawn the diagram yeah observe here this is the new stream which is uh, generated by using list uh, list or arrays one stream is available you will call filter method filter method will take your a predicate as input and it will generate new stream on that new stream you will apply terminal operators finally you will get the result now are you able to understand this flow yes sir yeah yes, sir. so one second repeat, sir one second repeat. yeah this is the stream right this is stream this is stream got from collections or arrays one stream is available then pass the stream as input to the filter filter will verify the condition as part of the filter will write the condition so based on the condition suppose element uh, verify the condition any element uh, satisfy the condition based on that it will generate one new stream this is the new stream this stream is given as input to the terminal operators for terminal operator will process it and produce final result so clear yeah yeah now observe here now my requirement is remove null values so this is the lambda expression yeah observe here filter filter will take predicate as input and remove nulls lambda expression as input and remove nulls finally you will apply uh, you will apply terminal operator yeah. so this terminal operator will take your intermediate operator uh, stream as input and process it and give some response to end user again this terminal operators process your stream and give some response to end user Yes, any questions? Duplicates are there or duplicates get removed? Sorry, get nulls removed, are there, sir. nulls are get removed. Okay, now clear, right? Yeah, nulls are removed. Yeah, next question, next immediately. Uh, remove duplicates from array list. Uh, which method we are using? Yeah now observe filter distinct distinct also intermediate operator which takes stream as input and remove the duplicates uh, with new it generate new stream which contain only unique elements that unique elements uh, related stream passed as input to the your terminal operator terminal operation process it and give some response are you able to follow this diagram clear yeah now yes. duplicates how to remove duplicates 
in order to remove the duplicates which method we are using distinct this is the intermediate operation to remove the duplicates once the duplicates are removed and then for each is the 10 minute operator to produce final result yeah duplicates removed or not removed removes yeah, remove. next question previously we faced one interview question like can i apply more than one intermediate operation at a time right so now observe remove duplicates and null values from array list observe here so my requirement is both i want to remove first this is the distinct right remove distinct and then uh, and then null values as well right filter So clear. So this one is remove the duplicates. This one is remove nulls. So we will apply any number of intermediate operations on stream, but we will apply only one terminal one operator. Time. Terminal operator will take input from intermediate operations and process it and give some response. Oh, sorry. I process it from here. Huh? One minute. Huh? Yeah, observe here. run it observe duplicates removed or not removed yes sir yeah null values removed or not removed removed yeah now clear guys this one so clear we will apply any number of intermediate operations we will up and we will apply only one terminal operations now your question so same thing remove duplicates null values and then sort the data how to sort array list data uh, can anyone one uh, one method is there what is the method name sort method. sort method after filtering after filtering you will use sorted observe these three are these three are intermediate operations intermediate first it remove duplicates and then it will remove null values of whatever stream contain unit data that is converted into uppercase it will generate highlighted one generate new stream which contain uppercase on that stream terminal operator is applied to process one by one and give final output yeah please observe here Appli applied or not applied not applied right yes or no upper starting nothing but starting order ascending order coming or not coming coming coming, coming right huh. now your next requirement uh one question sir yeah one, uh, one if i want to yeah if i want to find out the uh, what are the duplicates in the stream then yes we'll cover we, we, how to, one how minute, we'll please, please please i request all of you first learn stream api once you are good with stream api you can easily uh, operate anything on stream api okay so finding duplicates finding unix okay okay Clear? yeah next one please observe here i want to use map method so these are finally we got which stream lower case or upper case stream which stream you got it lower case right before starting i want to convert into upper case so in order to perform conversions we will use map map is a predefined method inside the stream which is used to convert the object generally will for in order to perform the object conversions we will use map now observe i want to convert upper case now observe upper case so i will explain intermediate up to this these are the intermediate operations up to this first distinct is used to remove the duplicates filter is used to remove the nulls and then map is used to convert your lower case into upper case and then that data is sorted by using sorted stream finally you can apply for each terminal operator to con to process 
and give final output here i will give it one more difference intermediate operations are lazy intermediate operations are lazy these intermediate operations are lazy in nature terminal operator is eager in nature means whenever we will invoke terminal operator then only intermediate operations are evaluated until without calling please observe here cut here so up to this this is assume error is there don't worry so this is intermediate operations but this methods are not at all invoked until unless you invoke terminal operators okay that's why intermediate operators are lazy in nature terminal operators are eager in nature so now clear any questions any questions sir is it mandatory is it conventional flow it's uh, because uh, sorted before that you can write that in the this no, no 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 not required you can use uh, any way so here observe i note on one more difference intermediate operations are lazy in nature uh, whereas uh, terminal operations are eager in nature so here this is very important intermediate operations get evaluated if and only if terminal operations get executed suppose terminal operators not at all executed then intermediate operators not at all evaluated means not at all get executed clear this point hello will it Clear check uh, terminal operators beforehand uh, like uh, before processing the intermediate operations yeah suppose there is no terminal operator no use even though you design the intermediate operators why because intermediate operation not at all executed until unless you invoke uh, terminal operators okay yes sir yeah so please observe here up to this we'll cover uh filter cover map cover distinct also cover so last two can i go last two to cover can you please yeah hello yeah sir yeah limit can you tell me about yes. flat map yes definitely i will cover don't worry one by one i will cover guys okay yeah so generally flat map is used to, flat okay. map is similar to map only flat map is used to convert two dimensional into single dimensional array okay now limit method will take okay size as input size as input means limit of 2 suppose i will give limit of 2 means returns stream which contains two elements that is the meaning clear this one what is the meaning of two clear yeah hello yeah clear, observe sir. here yeah how many elements are there as of now what is the size what is the size what is the size five right five. size nothing but number of elements exist five. size in order to find out the size we have one predefined method count method now observe step 1 first convert your list into stream and then limit so i will mention limit to so what is the meaning of limit to ha huh. limit to means it will give one stream which contains two elements only two elements means in this what are the two elements first two only right yes, yes. or no observe here everyone be careful please participate actively any error here oh sorry yeah run it ca 
So suppose I will give size three. Huh. How many how many elements the stream three, contains? Three elements. Three elements. Three. Now clear this one. So this is the limit yeah. limit method purpose. One more method is there. One more intermediate operations are there. Skip. What is the meaning of skip? So here it means uh, we can skip, skip uh, we'll particular take, element. Yeah. We'll take we'll take size and otherwise size as input. Suppose I will give two like this. So meaning is return two elements will new stream new stream by skipping first two elements how many elements you are mentioning two right suppose you'll mention three it will skip three elements okay now observe now how many elements are skipped three elements three elements ah, what, what is the output the yeah clear right Okay, so I will use combination. Please observe here. Uh, now, how many elements are skipping? How many elements are skipping? Two elements. two elements. Two elements, right? Skip the two elements. Now, I will use both in single shot. Uh, skip two elements. First two element. Uh, construct one more. Mm. Now, what is the output? Skip these two elements, please mute. Skip these two elements. After skipping, uh, new new stream contain how many elements? New stream contain how many elements? Three elements. Three elements. No, no, no. Here, please, BD. you are mentioning right. Sorry, two elements. Uh, BD. Two elements, right? Here we are mentioning two elements only. So this is the combination how to use uh, skip and limit. Okay, clear, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah. So as of now, I think so everyone good on this one. So we will cover one minute, one minute. We will cover please, please, one minute, one minute. One minute. We will cover intermediate operations. Intermediate operations filter map sorted distinct limit and skip are examples for intermediate operations. Intermediate operators will not produce final output, just it will produce new stream. That's it. Okay, intermediate operations are lazy in nature. Intermediate operations will invoke whenever when our terminal operators get executed. That's it. Yeah. Any questions up to this? Hello. Sir, yes. map internal using for functions are map. Map map fun lambda expression it will use. Map is a predefined method, right? It will use predicate as input. Filter in uh, predicate internal as filter. Internally using filter. No, 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 no. Filter is a predefined uh -huh. method which is used uh, predicate, predicate as input. So don't worry, don't much concentrate on this. This is the uh, stream API, right? If you want get strong on function interface lambda expressions, please subscribe to new tech uh, video channel. There clearly what is lambda expression, what is method reference are there. You can learn from there itself. Okay. Okay. Sir, can can we use first limit then skip? Yes. Don't worry. Yes. You can use it uh, now. Uh, hello, sir. sir. What will happen if you use limit? Then one minute. Your question is uh, read it. What is the meaning of this one? Uh. So yeah. now in this case, in this case, next one get executed. Skip one. Not right. It 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 will return only stream which contains one element e. One or two? Not written. Will not return anything. Why? Blank. Blank. Uh, why? Because here you are mentioning. Uh, we are limiting immediately. Ha! Uh, immediately you will skip it. You will skip the two. Clear? Suppose I will three. Ha! Uh, now new stream contain how many elements? Mm. One. C A P right? Now skip two elements. Now it returns one. Now clear? Hello? Yeah. Clear, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can I go one by one terminal operators? 
forever so please observe here i will cover each already this one cover this one also cover please observe be careful i will cover each and every one terminal operators once we are good this one we will do one mini project on this okay now i will go one by one uh, terminal operators first one reduce if you want i will submitting terminal operations so terminal operators will take uh, intermediate op intermediate operation stream as input and process it finally it will give output to the end user now example on reduce reduce nothing but generally it reduce the data it reduce the data into single element how to do it i will show you will reduce the data into single element how to do it please observe here yeah so first i will cover uh, count so what is the meaning of count what is the meaning of count how many elements are there we can count uh, yes so not required i think so everyone clear on this one right next one i am going to generally what is the sum of elements inside the array sum of elements multiple elements are there right this multiple elements reduced to single element what is the sum can anyone what is the sum nine ten right ten yeah now okay. observe how to do it how to do it that one so reduce one method is there which takes your lambda expression as input a comma b a plus b so here meaning is it will use first two element and second element add it okay and do sum dot get Final will get the output. This is reduce. Reduce nothing but take multiple elements as input and finally give single element as output. Any questions? Steam. Any questions? No. But this reduce no. also. Uh, it is an operator. No, intermediate yes, operator. Yes. One minute. After this, yeah. Please observe. After this, uh, anything used? No right terminal and operate. This is also terminal. Produce direct output to the end user, right? Okay. Next count. Ah, okay. uh, count. Sir, what is this? A comma B. This thing, sir. That is the lambda expression. This is the lambda expression. Okay. Lambda reduce okay. will take lambda expression as input and evaluate one by one. Now count will sir, will give. Re uh, sir, reduce can in how many parameters, sir? Only one single. Number yeah, of elements exist in given stream. Please observe. Please mute guys. Don't disturb others. Stream dot count. Count is a method which will use long type. All will discuss this one. Now run it. Yeah, four. Size is four, right? Yeah. Next one. For each, already you know very well this one. For each, for each method, we'll take take consumer as input process one by one element and finally display to end user some response that's it this is also terminal operator now observe so for this question how to iterate array again i want to remove dot stream dot for each 
this is also of a terminal operator before for each terminal you can apply any number of any number of intermediate operations but only one terminal operator exists in the coding x sys out yeah observe this is the iteration this for each method will take consumer as input consumer nothing but take one by one element from the stream and display to the end user all right we'll discuss this one yeah any questions boss any questions up to this any questions no sir uh here x will be the integer or the long sorry the value we are displaying no integer integer only right x is the integer only then why why here uh, in the uh, earlier example in count it's written long primitive no long. no no count method returns count method written type is long that is that is the difference okay 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 yeah so next interview question very important two array this is also stream method basically interview question how to convert your uh, stream into or array general that is the question so here two array method is used to convert stream stream to array so observe here yeah so lsc dot stream dot two array observe here this is the predefined method as part of the stream which is used to convert back to object array okay now you know how to iterate object array huh. so here input is o i will use advanced for loop and display one by one now this is conversion back to our array list to array so in order to convert array list to array you will use two array method any questions any questions yes sir good yes sir <clears throat> sir when we take uh, uh, yeah. the list uh, the list dot stream sorry what the, the list dot stream when we print just uh, lst dot stream what we can get the lst dot stream is an object or a stream or what yes 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 that is the op no, no no this is the array right array not stream it returns object oh. suppose object of zero it returns one okay so clear no 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 sir, sir uh, he is asking uh, uh, if we yeah, write a uh, lst lst dot stream what will happen yeah. if we, if we write only stream lst object. dot stream yeah. it will return only stream object it returns stream object if you want i will show you it will create new collection right yes yes stream object it returns stream object if you want please observe whenever i will print yes it returns just a stream object only okay so clear your doubt okay okay thank you yeah now next question what is the maximum element what is the maximum element Four. What the maximum element? Four, right? Next interview question. So, maximum element in given array list. So, in order to do it, stream provide one method, predefined method. What is the method name? Max. Now, observe. First, convert your list into stream and then max method please observe inside the max we will use comparator a max method will take lambda expression as input v1 so I will, it will take two values to compare one by one so v1 dot compare to of v2 so this is used to max will be used to uh, compare the data one by one and display So max element, this is the optional object. It returns optional class object. From optional class itself, we'll get the data by using get method. So clear guys, max method will take, max method will take lambda expression as input. That is the lambda expression will take comparator comparable. 
so fourth is the maximum element any questions yeah now next one minimum element so in order to find out minimum element ah here we will use first to convert your list into stream and then apply min method min will take lambda expression as input this is the lambda expression which compare one by one element and return minimum element yeah one any questions any questions no any questions up to this no no yeah now i will cover one more uh, collect what this collect collect is terminal operator uh, which is yes yes in ide uh, control 1 after semicolon put control 1 automatically value assign directly which is used to convert uh, stream into stream into either list or set or map back that's it now observe here sir uh, in uh, uh, max and min functions uh, which sh uh, should we um, like a pass uh, lambda expression uh, that is the lambda expression like a, right yeah why because here you can write your own code why because this is the already predefined method is there that's why i will use okay okay yeah now my interview question is what collect please observe here collect nothing but in order to convert your stream into color list back we will use collect method please observe first i will convert stream and then remove duplicates ha huh. up to this what is the meaning of this one up to this converting your collection object into stream okay. on the stream you can apply distinct method to remove the duplicates again once duplicates are removed finally it will give one stream object right if you want after semicolon put one control one it will give stream object only right yes or no yes on the stream again you want to convert back to list then you can use collect method collect inside the collect method collectors class is there collectors dot list suppose you want to convert list you will use to list method suppose you want to set you will use to set method also there please observe suppose you want to convert map map method also there okay clear any questions so i will i will note down shortcut as well for you run it yeah 1 2 3 4 again this is the list only so i will give a uh, shortcut for this so observe here generally list is there so by using stream method right you will convert ah uh, you will convert stream yes or no again the stream convert back to list ah uh, collectors dot to list method is used to convert again back to list only clear this conversion hello yes sir this conversion is clear yes. yeah similarly suppose i have set is there ha huh. and then map is there how to convert set into stream by using stream method again you want to convert back ha huh. collectors to collectors dot to set to set now clear right yeah similarly here map object is there how to convert so this is little trick is there i will show you don't worry uh, by using stream method again how to convert back to map yeah any questions these are the short question shortcut to convert stream to uh, corresponding collection object sir sir i have question <clears throat> yeah if if you convert this list uh, from 1 to 4 4 3 4 to map how it will be the key and the, the value how it will be generated key and value yes uh, we have this list 
list add one, add two, three, four, three, four. This is a list. Uh -huh. If we, uh -huh. we, we convert it to stream, then we want to convert it to map. Yes, yes, map definitely. I will show you. Yes, I, yes, yes. So your question is how to convert list to map or map to list, right? Yes, that is. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I will show you. Don't worry, I will show you. One one conversion I will show you map to list, then you can understand. Okay. Now observe here. Now I am going to demo some examples. Find first. And then find any. All match. any match all match any match and none match these are the terminal operators we'll discuss now so what is the meaning of find first can anyone find first huh it returns huh it which element it returns the first first element huh first oh, element occurrence. yeah first occurrence from given list or set are from stream yeah we'll do it in practical list dot stream so this is meaning converting your list into stream object and then once the stream is available i want to check first element we'll use find find first what is this find first nothing but it returns always first element dot get yeah any questions any questions no now next one find any what is the meaning can anyone find any method will return any element in given stream not only first one most probably first one only, but we can't give the guarantee. It will give any element. Now observe. So always maximum cases it returns first element, first element only, but we can't give the guarantee. But but it generate but it returns one element in given stream. That's it. Okay. Sir. What is the find any sir? That's why uh, always will preferable. Suppose you want to get first element, then we will go for find first. So find and find any also most probably it returns first element only, but we can't give always it returns uh, element only. I will show you how to how to do it that one. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Now please observe uh, any match, all match and none match. These two three examples I will cover in single example. Any match means. Uh, any anyone? element with uh, match with the. Uh... Uh, so these three, so these three will take predicate as input. Okay. Returns true if any uh, element satisfy given condition, yes, right? Condition. Any one element at least. Yes. Uh, return. Return. Sorry. False. False. Can you try this one? Can you try this one? Yeah, observe here. String. Observe here.
yeah so read this can anyone read this we are going conduct workshop on stream api from srinutech srinutech nice now my question is i want to any match first i want to give demo on any match first convert your list into stream and then apply any match is there observe here it will take predicate as an input now please observe so lambda expression it will take start with this is the string start with uh, from anything there it will start from from hello anything is there yes sir yes sir there is there or not there it's there any any element matched with the given condition it returns true otherwise returns false suppose i will give my name false uh, so many is there false that's it okay now next one uh yes sir hello sir yeah yeah can you try with uh, shop means sorry starts with shop yeah we will we'll try yeah shop shop <clears throat> shop ah huh? is there any shop is there here or shop what is there workshop huh uh no no, no. not work but it's shop is there right no 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 start with nothing but motion should start with this word we have one predefined uh, method is there right connect so here please observe contains also there here this is the string class methods right yes or no yeah so here yes, sir. observe sharp is there true now clear uh can you type the single word w starts single? with uh, w it's uh, two words are there v and workshop but it's smaller and lower case yeah now observe can anyone both it written only one case sense to right small w workshop is there right yeah yeah so now all match now observe all match what is the meaning of all match so this expression all elements all all elements true or false all false. words start with w false right yes sir false yeah so for now observe none match same single example none match none none nothing but uh, no nothing no well no elements uh, will uh, no so no That's elements right. match it returns only true otherwise returns false in this case w matches right w so it returns false mm -hmm. none match evaluate the element if nothing matched then only it returns true otherwise it returns false yeah any questions any questions so guys good what is terminal operators what is intermit operations sorry now i will show you again we are covered the methods or not i will show you again sir can you please yeah. again explain wait, wait, any match minute. and non match wait one minute one highlighted one observe filter map sorted distinct limit skip are we good guys any revision required for this no sir no right yeah now observe second highlighted one all match none match covered find first find any all are covered or not covered covered sir, covered, right? sir uh, do you know explain regarding reduce once again sorry reduce reduce, reduce. okay reduce and then anything Only none reduce. match and all match sir okay okay Okay. Now again, none. This yeah. concept. Okay, one minute. Other, otherwise, I note down. Is it okay? Huh? Oh, already there, right? Observe here. 
Depends. Yes, yes. Collect that. Collect that. So I will explain. Don't worry. Yeah. None match. So here we'll take predicate as input. Okay. Predicate nothing but lambda express as input. So none match. None match. Return boolean value. So here none match will return true if none of element satisfy given condition suppose any one element satisfy given condition then none match method return Ah, uh, false. Yeah, clear. So here, please observe none match. Start with W. So any word is there? Start with W. Yeah, okay. Already there, right? If any element matches, then it returns false. Now clear this one. False. Clear, boss. Clear or not clear? Yes, boss, sir. clear or not clear? Now all match. Please mute all match. Now here, all match also will take predicate as input and it returns boolean value. So can anyone give answer this one? Return true if uh, all elements should satisfy given condition. Huh? If suppose any one element does not satisfy given condition then all match return false clear observe here all match all, all in this case all elements match all elements match w in all words start with so w word only no no, no. then it returns true or false False. False. Observe. Now clear. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Any questions up to this? Good. Sir, reduce. Ha ha. I will cover. Don't worry. So generally, reduce nothing but how many elements are there here? How many? Okay, one minute. Again, I will take same example previous that is easy for you. Instead of typing each and everything, I will copy code from here. Yeah, now observe. What is the sum of so how many elements are there? How many elements? Four elements. Oh. Four elements. So reduce method is used to reduce multiple elements into single elements. Means internally it will perform addition only. Please observe concatenation. LST dot stream uh, dot reduce. Reduce method it will take uh, lambda expression as input. So here, whatever you want, you can write it here. Now I want to write addition of two numbers addition of all the elements. So now clear. Yes, sir. Like this. So can so now finally we got single element only. So previously four elements are there. Now that four elements are converted into single element. That is called. Sir. Sir, whatever the expression we give inside the reduce, it will reduce to that uh, expression. Yes, 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 yes. If we give multiplication here, will it yeah, multiply multiply. everything? Yes, 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 multiply everything. Now observe one minute, yes. So this is to uh, overall intermediate and terminal operators completed. Now observe all the methods are completed or not completed. 
okay so don't worry find first find this is the short circuit operations what is short circuit operations will cover uh, for, so short circuit nothing but find first i will show you one example then you can understand up to this clear guys list and set cover everything clear everything clear yes sir yeah can i go map map huh yeah when will go for yes, map? sir yes sir when will go for map suppose and we want key value page we want to store data in the form of key and value pair then we'll go for map okay so here one key value pair one key and one value key and value is called as entry what is this entry key should be key should be unique, unique. and value should be uh, should be duplicate. duplicate assume gmail uh, how to log in gmail by using username and awesome. password so username should be a uh, common across multiple people username yes. Username, username no. should no, so that is treated as key and where password, my password and your password maybe may not be same. That's it treated as value. So Gmail is uh, implemented based on map. Now clear guys, what is map? Or uh, suppose you want to store the data in the form of key value pair, then you can go map interface uh, so hash map linked hash map tree map hash table concurrent hash map provide the implementation to the map and key should be unique value should be duplicate example gmail username treated as key and password treated as value so clear now step one observe here generally suppose i want to get only keys how to get only keys can anyone in order to get the keys i want to get only keys Which method we are using? Key set, sir. Key set. Okay. Yeah. So here, key set is used to get only keys. I want to get only values. Huh. Only values. Values, right? I want to values. get both. Entry set. Huh. Is used to get both key and values can you try this one can you try getting only keys using or oh, stream api yeah can you try yeah please observe i am going to design the map now map map here key should be uh, integer and value should be string map equal to hash map integer and then string any questions up to this so all the collection objects are defined in util package util package now observe so which method we are using put method right put Ah, uh, two comma C. You will give dummy names. Three, one, four. Now here, A, D, B. Okay. Now my question is what? First question observe how to convert your map to stream observe here any map to stream you want to convert observe I will note down here. So, you know map object right map object dot how to get the only keys key set right key set on the key set we will call stream method to get stream object. Similarly, I want to get only values which method you are using values on the values you will use stream method similarly i want to get both keys and values entry set on the entry set uh, you will call stream method finally we'll get stream object that's it any questions yeah try it please observe here yeah 
map does i want to get what is your requirement what is your requirement only keys ah can anyone can anyone map dot keys dot stream one minute ah map dot key set key set dot stream ah, dot stream yeah stream and here up to this you will get the stream with keys only up to this after this i want to get that keys by using terminal operator ha huh. here i will use for each method to iterate one by one and get it only these are the keys so now as part of the for each we will take lambda expression to iterate the data and get one by one and display to the end user any questions any questions no keys only yeah now can i go next one getting only values only values ha huh. anyone map dot values Until dot stream yes that's it yeah so now observe i want to get only values so what are the values here first call values method on the values you will call stream method to convert a new stream which contain only values okay any questions now i want to get both keys and values ha huh. getting both interesting keys and values yeah entry set so entry set gives keys and values with a new stream by using stream method once the stream is available for each terminal operator take it and convert one by one and display to the end user any questions up to this any questions any questions okay no questions hello no sir no sir yeah hello, one sir. more interview question yeah hello Uh, sir can we use both entry set and uh, key and value no no why okay. what is the use what is the use right values nothing but getting only values key set nothing but getting both why you are using both both methods in single shot okay now next thing sort the data based on key in ascending order read the question read the question guys hello sort the data based on key in ascending order ha huh. can you try so now observe here generally hash map we can't expect the order right yes, yes sir. sir yes so, tree map wait 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 but 1 2 3 4 coming right but we can't expect so otherwise we will do exercise here sort the key based on uh, in descending order like this okay descending order yeah now observe now keys are available in each format keys are available in each format hello ascending order sorting right ascending now observe after converted here now sorted inside the start sorted please observe here very important here map dot entry dot one minute ah huh? map dot entry this is the java feature dot ah huh? comparing by key this is used by default it is used to sort the data in ascending order only otherwise if you want i will give you this example by default display the data in ascending order suppose you want to display the data based on the key in descending order here please observe collectors dot one minute
collector dot Sorry, right, sir. Collections dot reverse. S sorry. Collections dot reverse. Then it will just be, uh, one minute. One. Collectors, right? One one minute. Uh. A reverse method is there. Collections. One minute. One minute. One minute. So, so it will not take it. Uh, so otherwise we have all... sorry. Collection, sir. Third one. N S dot dot reverse. Yes. Yes. This is also one way. Another way also there. Direct collector also there. Collector. So this is one way. So first it will sort the data in ascending order and then it will reverse it. Please observe here. Keys are in which format? Keys, descending order, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now observe. Now one more. Sort the data based on value in ascending order. So what is the meaning of this one? What the meaning of this one? Sort Values. Uh, ah, so here is a simple. Here. Value put value comparing by value. Remove this one. This is not required. That's it. OK, comparing by default, comparing the comparing by value. It returns the data in ascending order. That's it. Please observe. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, the ascending order, right? Values. Yes, sir. So clear. Now. Now, same thing. Descending order, huh? Small based on the value up to this clear. This is by default sorting order. If you want descending order. Huh? Collections dot. Reverse order. That's it. Yeah. Any questions, guys? You know how to convert map to stream and then sorting and descending. Any questions? Clear everything up to this. Any questions? So finally, one more interview question. Convert your map to list using stream API. Yeah. So can you do it this one? Can you try this one? Map Hello? to list. No. Okay, we'll try. To list method. No, no, we'll try. Please observe here. So here construct list. Based on key. Yeah, what are the keys? What are the keys? Two, three, one, four, right? Yes, sir. No. First, get it the keys. Huh. Dot convert stream. Observe here. Generally, you know, right? Uh, in order to convert back stream to list or set or map, which method we are using? Collector, right? Yes, sir. No. Now, collectors dot to list. Sorry, not collectors. Collectors dot to list. So clear, guys. Previously, one guy asking how to convert reverse back. Clear this one. Then in this list, uh, uh, will the there list be values or keys? Keys only. Please observe oh. two, three, one, four like this. Clear. Okay. Yeah. Similarly, based on the both not po both not possible generally you can if you want you can convert but this is iphone format only can construct the list based on value huh i will copy here 
now only values will take the values uh, list format one minute this is written type is wrong yeah that's it yeah coming coming or not now finally you got it right how to convert your map to list hello guys up to this any questions no sir yeah so how any questions up to this any questions any questions sir he was he was asking like uh, uh, from list to map how how can we con convert that yeah, was the question he only values, right? yes yes list contain only values map contain key values right yes sir yeah yeah then value yeah. what you place you will place some hard coding value okay okay clear any questions up to this yeah can i go on mini projects yes. uh, by using some methods some operations hmm? yes yes yeah please observe yeah please observe I want to design one employee class. So employee number, employee name, and salary. Observe here. So here. Yes, uh, Baswara's flat map is nothing but to convert double 2D array into single dimensional array. Okay. Employee name and salary. Observe here, I want to get high salary employee details uh, in sorted order by removing duplicates. All will cover here. So here source constructor and generate setters and getters yeah finally i overridden uh, two string method this is the object class method return employee number salary any questions up to this so this is the simple pozo class which contains employee number employee name salary okay can i go so my question is getting the employee names employee names who has highest salary greater than salary less than salary how many number of uh, employees are there we'll, we'll try to one mini two mini projects this is one first mini project now create data for that for that now remove this one list emp emp is equal to new array list emp yeah emp is dot add off one new. quick doubt can i ask yeah one one minute i will first i will feed the data then we'll go ahead okay sure. employee name srinu so salary Ten thousand.
knock seven thousand thirteen thousand five thousand yeah now observe my question is i want to get i how many employees are there whose salary is greater than seven seven thousand so here ah huh, display emp's name whose salary is greater than seven thousand i don't know please anyone anyone please guide me i will do it sir first it will convert to stream then in map yeah, okay, everyone everyone please participate stream filter in filter stream. condition right yeah. Employee dot get salary. Okay. Salary. So here greater. EMP EMP dot stream. Ha. Huh. Dot filter. filter. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. X. Ha. Huh. X dot get salary. Greater. Seven thousand. Greater. Ha. Yeah. Ha. Ha. And then. For each. For each. Yeah. For each. Or you write it back. Anything is fine. Please mute. Yeah, observe. Greater than seven. Seven thousand. What is the issue? Oh, one minute. Three new, three new. Both names are there, right? Wasu. Hmm. So working. Working or not working? Mm, Hello. Working, working. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Now clear, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Clear, one sir. Minute. Move to now. Move to next one. One minute. I will comment this one. Yeah. Now my question is, same question. I want to get count. instead of for each mm -hmm. we use uh, count so kernel operator super so here instead of uh, Two employees only, right? Any questions? Any questions? Good question can I ask? Yeah. 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 Go ahead. It's not related to stream, but here in the list employee type, we are uh, creating a list of this employee type, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if we don't mention this generic in the array list, uh, okay. it will also work, right? may know yes, what yes, is the also, reason it will also work it generic that is the generic stream right generally collections are two types it will support homogeneous as well as heterogeneous right if you want to homogeneous uh, you will use generic please mute please mute right hello yes sir yeah understand yes. my question similarly streams also two types uh, so homogeneous as well as heterogeneous homogeneous nothing but you can apply the generics then it will uh, works fine okay okay yeah i will i will find i will i will give your answer yeah finding emp name who's having high salary in this name huh anyone anyone who is high salary max of uh, salary sir no, no in this case highest salary employee name is what uh 13000 wasu wasu 13000 but i want to get that name ha huh. 
EMP is uh, first convert into stream. Mm. Max of. OK, max of uh. X. Mm -hmm. X1 comma X2. Mm? X1 comma X2. Uh. Uh -huh. X1 dot. Com compared. Compared. Uh. No, not compared. there, right? Uh. Here, this is the stream. Anyone? Yeah. Comparator dot. Uh. Uh. Comparing. Dot. Comparing. Compare. Uh. Sir, class name hmm? EMP map, uh, colon colon. EMP uh, ah, dot. Super. Uh, uh, uh. Colon oh. colon. Right. Hmm. Get salary, right? Salary. Yeah. This is the method reference. This is called method reference. Uh. After this, please, please, please. After this, ah, uh, please observe. What will get here? Max, max employee employee get you get it right? Yes or no? If you print employee max, what we get it? Please observe here. You'll get. Ah, two wasu. But you want to this entire object or only wasu? Only wasu. Ah, can anyone? Ah. Here, observe here. Before this, map object is there, right? Here, observe. I want to get only e name. Only e name, and then you will apply it like this. Okay, you try your own, you try it. So, anyway, you will find the employee object based on that. You will get it. That is also one option. Please mute. Please. Yeah, any questions up to this? Any questions? Sir, you are using lambda expressions also. You have to do the get salary. Yes, that is also fine. Lambda expressions Without also using method of. Yes, method of. Method yes, yes. Method yes, of. Yes. yes, yes, possible. Okay. Sir, here uh, after uh, stream uh, dot max, we are using right. Uh, before max, can we use like stream dot uh, uh, map? In that, we get only salary and uh, then we apply max yes that is also fine that is also fine so but this okay. is the map max is the uh, terminal operator right it must end at the end only that's it so you can apply any number of intermediate operators and then you can apply only one terminal operator okay any questions any questions So I will please mute. So like this, uh, I will give some more interview questions on this. I want to get, uh, I want to get employee name whose salary is low, and I want to get the employee details in ascending order. I want to get the employee details in descending order based on the salary. Can you try all these programs? All this. Hello. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you try? Uh, last. Uh, yes. Pending topic is what? Short circuit operations. What is this? What is this? One minute. Design Pozo class. Design client class. So I have one more mini project also there. So same thing, same examples. I will do it again. So that's why I'm not at all uh, interested to do again. So instead of uh, doing any, uh, in, instead of doing that one, I will take clarification sessions from you. Is it okay? Or can can you do one more project? Which one is better? Hello. One more project. So. Suppose I will take one product, okay? Uh, product ID, product number, product name. I want to get 
a product details whose price is high like this can you try that one yes yes sir yeah. okay so last topic short circuit operations what is this short circuit operations mm, generally these four is called short circuit operations observe find first find any find uh, find all all match none match and limit so what is the what is the short circuit operations can anyone suppose i will i will show you one example based on that please give me your answer integer list is equal to new array list integer lst dot add of 10 now observe dot stream please please find first so what is the meaning of this one what is the meaning of this one hello what is the meaning it of this one find first it okay. will return only first element only right it first will skip element. remaining yes. elements it yes. will skip remaining remaining streams right yes or no yes sir yes or yes. no so yes. meaning is short circuit operations are used to skip sub streams so here in this case it return only first element remaining remaining sub streams are escaped that's it that is the short circuit operations limit limit nothing but so you will so total size 10 you will give two only you know, stream return with elements two only like this okay 